Salute and welcome to our second tutorial. We learned in our first tutorial how to download Cuprook and read send information from to the register. Every store has good to sell. In Quorion, we classify this in groups, departments and PLUs. It helps us to organize them on our keyboard. Reports, review sales and other functions. To understand them, we will propose you an example. Our study case is a restaurant. We need to program taxes, group, departments and PLUs. It is possible to configure for different tax rates. Each could use one tax rate. Groups are the first division used to organize the goods. It is possible to use maximum 255 groups. We will use as groups food and drinks. Departments iterate from groups. We can use from one till 999 different departments and each department must be assigned by a tax type. We will work with two departments, appetizer and beer. PLU iterates from departments. It means all the properties assigned to the department will be acquired by the PLU. We can use until 55,000 PLUs. Once we load the configuration file from our register, the first step is configure taxes. First column is used to set the tax name. It is possible to set the name we prefer. This will be displayed and printed out on reports and tickets. Second column is used to write the rate amount. Do not use points and consider the decimal quantities. For example, 1000 will mean 10 comma zero zero percent in VAT 1. Exempt colon is used for a done tag. Here can be input the amount which will be used as exempt. Option 1 and 2 allows configure multiple options according to special functions for the tax calculation. As a standard we set on option 1 number 45 and if you want to use tax calculation add-on Set on option 1, 145. Using help button, you can know the meaning for each option. Consider it is important to know which options can be active or combined according to the program version, country or special features for your register. On print 1, configure as default number 1 till 7. As you can see here, an asterisk is marked on each edited row. Press OK to confirm changes. Now proceed to configure groups. On files groups we use fixed group numbers and it is only required to edit caption which is the group name. Option 1 and option 2 are not used on groups. Remember we will use as group names food and drinks. This is according to our example. We proceed to configure departments on files departments. According to our settings, we are able to program 100 departments. This is 5 digits as ID. To create a department, select the department number. Write the related name on caption, the group number from the department is iterated. Using option 1 and 2, we can create a special functions for our department. As default, we only set on option 1, number 7, to limit our cells to the PLU linked to each department. It means we can sell $10 on department appetizers. We must select directly the PLU which is linked to this department. Column limit is used to set the maximum amount allowed to register. When it is different than zero, there is not input limit. Can be individual assigned by department. The rule to configure the limit is described on the screen. We consider two digits, A and B. A is the limit unit and B is used to set the zeros, including decimal quantity. For example, if we set limit as 15, it means 1 plus 5 zeros, meaning 1000. Resulting, our maximum input can be the number 999,99 cents. As the fall we set in our print 1, the numbers 1 till 7. 
On tax, we select the tax number which will be applied to the department. Remember, we have it pre-configured. KP means kitchen printer. If you would like to use one, it is necessary to pre-configure the kitchen printer and on the related department, select the kitchen printer number which will be used. This is only an example and we select to department 1, kitchen printer 1 and to department 2, kitchen printer 2. Click on OK button to confirm the changes. To configure articles or PLUs, we go to Files, PLUs. In this example, we are using fixed PLU numbers. In this sense, we don't have to input the article number. We only select one from the list. According to this, we go to PLU number 1 and write the PLU name using the column caption. As second, we write the department number which the article will be linked. Set the sale price on column price, price 2 and condiment columns will be described in future tutorials. To move through sales, we use the tab key. Additionally, we can use the mouse. To confirm the changes, we press button OK. Once we finish to program our PLUs, we only need to send our config to the register. And this is it. Thank you for watching.